In the previous video, you met Eric and Rachel Weiser, who I interviewed about their full-time RV living, and we took a tour of their Class A RV. Over the next several days, we'll hang out with each other as Eric chauffeurs us around, and they both show us the sights in Mount Desert Island, Acadia National Park, and also Bar Harbor, Maine. We are here now at the Mount Desert Narrows campground. It's an encore RV resort. We just got checked in, so we are going to go and dump tanks and then get into our spot. I thought this was a windjammer. This is one of the ones, and then the Margaret Todd, the one that we'll probably go on is that big four floor one over there. Okay. Let's go. Charlie. Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Charlie. So this is out there. That's Bar Island. Whenever it's low tide, which was at 6.50, 6.50, all this is, you see all the ground right here and stuff. So you can actually drive all the way across or walk across. There's always a ton of people out here on low tide. I think it's like 14 feet. Okay. Right here Something at this like part? That. Okay. Well, anywhere along. Yeah. It's 14 foot difference. So if you get stranded out there, tide. There's yes. a sign out there that tells you you can call this person and they will come and get you. A taxi. A water taxi happens. service and you're going to pay for it though. <laughs> yes. They got pictures it's over there. It's cars, like a tow. Cars <laughs> yes. underwater where yeah. they went hiking and came back and their car was underwater. Oh my gosh. So we're here at Acadia National Park and this is Jordan's Pond? Yes. And this is Jordan Pond House. Jordan Pond House famous for their popovers. Yes, which we will get later. Yes, we will. <laughs> With an adult beverage, maybe. <laughs> Prosecco. <laughs> I can do Prosecco. Prosecco's good. She's going to try to stay up with Charlie the whole time. And if Charlie goes somewhere, she's going to He's just excited to see Lily. No, we hold on, girl. Mm -mm. Oh my god. Creepy. These things that they, they're called burrs when they have these great huge flaw they call them flaws, but when they cut mm -hmm. into them, they're these really elegant, beautiful patterns of wood mm -hmm. and they make tables out of them and just beautiful wood furniture out of it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what they do with those. Cool. Beautiful. So when you see that, people hunt those. Kind of like hunting they ginseng. Can't. They don't right. they don't take the whole tree down, do they? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't take it from here. We are still here at Jordan Pond. Do you want to see? Charlie is very, uh... He's afraid you're going to steal his soul yeah, if you take his picture. Like, he doesn't like pictures. He doesn't? Oh. He knows, too. Like, well, no, oh, no. Uh, well, he says, he he Are you going to be a camera hog now? Come here. It's right here. It might be that loon. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no, let's go. She's looking.
I was like, I was, what's I was, up? I was like, what do you mean, dog? <laughs> what am I talking for? I was, I was like, power lines coming to get us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm dog. On this morning, we start early driving up to Cadillac Mountain, along with hundreds of others to watch the sunrise. Cadillac Mountain is in Acadia National Park and overlooks the Gulf of Maine, Frenchman Bay, and Bar Harbor, and we get to see the very first sunrise in the United States from this point. It's breathtaking and an experience like no other. Yeah. <laughs> right. I set my, my clock she ever Time is 4:10. Who is it? I set my my clock by Pacific Standard Time. Oh. Look, you can see it peaking. Do you see it right in the middle? Oh. That yellow coming there. So we woke up super early to come out to sunrise here at Cadillac Mountain in Acadia National Park. It is incredibly beautiful. Thankfully they woke me up because I set my alarm clock for the wrong time zone. So I woke up to Eric knocking on my door. Thankfully I had everything ready and brushed my teeth and got ready in like 15 minutes. So anyways, we're here. It was such a beautiful sight. And I love, love, love this area. It is so amazing. Do you know what made all this? Wait, wait. What made all this? Glacial movement. Really? Yeah. Where'd you learn that from? <laughs> from this guy on this boat tour. Yeah? Yeah. They said that is. He taught it. you guys a lot. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Everything was made from glacial movement yeah. out here. He said that. <laughs> <laughs> he said that is why, like the Porcupine Islands, while the island, everything around here is like smooth on one side and drops off on the other, because mm -hmm. the glaciers were sliding across this way, so they ground it all off, and when they got to the side, it just broke off. Oh, wow. Come on. Turn the light. So you can get photos of Bar Harbor, like with nobody around. Nobody here. Uh, we'll Hi! <laughs> What's over there, guys? I'm gonna go sniff. Come on, Millie, let's go. Charlie got three! Charlie got two. Charlie got two? Charlie, oh, and there's Charlie and, and Rachel. Rachel. They must hey, be over there hello. looking for the Falcons. And Eric, Eric's driving hello. us around everywhere. So we're doing the loop around uh, Acadia National Park for the Park Loop Road. Park, yeah, thank you, Park Loop Road. Uh, this is on the National Geographic 300 Scenic Highways and Byways um, in Maine. And we'll finish this today, and then we're headed out on a windjammer cruise around two o'clock. Yeah. And the babies get to go with us too. It's dog friendly. <laughs> Oh, good. This is She's gorgeous. Ready. Rachel's ready for the uh, water. Uh, 
<laughs> she's she's dressed. Look at her knit hat, pants, you have hiking suit. boots. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. It gets to about sixty something degrees. Um, but yeah, it's freezing cold right now. Yeah. So it's Arctic waters. It's very it's Arctic sunny water, outside, so yes. people don't realize how cold it is, and they yeah. can actually so get into some trouble. You can see all the people on the beach, but you don't really see any people. There's people just kind of sitting on the edge. There's no one in the boat. They're not in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's the So we're at Thunder Hill in Maine, still a kid in the park. Oh, That's the balancing rock. You can try to push it off, but <laughs> glacial movement put it there. <laughs> glacial movement. Oh, that is so beautiful, man. So we have boarded, I cannot remember the name of this boat. Margaret Todd. Thank you. We have, we have boarded Margaret Todd. Beautiful day out here. Charlie, say hi, Bubba. Says, I'm finding my spot right here. Look at that. That's so cute. The Margaret Todd is the only foremast schooner working up here in New England. She's 151 foot overall length. So it is a large schooner to bring in and out of here. Anyway, you want to hold up, don't go past it. And if you'd like to uh, cross the deck during the trip, there's...
Is that your seal out there popping up and down. Does it have a white head with a red collar? <laughs> <laughs> We're at Astaku Azalea Gardens in Bar Harbor, Maine. I've had such a fabulous time here in Acadia National Park in Bar Harbor, Maine with my new friends Eric and Rachel Weiser, but it's time to push on and continue east along the Maine coast. So join me in the next video as I travel another National Geographic quest to what's called the Big Sur of Maine, then to the furthest northeast of the U.S. to Lubeck, Maine, and then on to a working mustard mill museum. And as always, if you like what you're seeing, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below, and like and share my videos. Thank you.